you're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com and today I'm going to show you how to take some paper flowers. You can use plain ones or ones that have already been coloured and turn them into some grungy goodness. I'm using some of the gorgeous sparkly starburst sprays from Lindy Stamp Gang. Now this would not be colours I would normally add to my flowers unless I was doing a vintage project but this is going to look fantastic. So I've got the cocoa bean copper, the cattail copper brown, and the midnight rendezvous raven. And I may even add a little of uh, a blue. I'll have to wait and see. So the first thing I've done here is to uh, bend the tails of the wire on the back of the flowers. Don't cut it off at this point, just bend it so that the flower sits flat. Put them all together in a group and give them a little spray of the cattail copper brown. Then pick up each flower and absolutely soak it with cocoa bean copper. This will put not only the dye colour on the flower, but a heavy coating of coppery shimmer, which is what you'll need later. Spray right into all the little nooks and crannies and make sure you don't leave any piece white, because of course that's the bit you'll see. Now it's really important to make sure that your flower will sit flat whilst drying, so you need to bend the little wire that sits on it and you need to do that before you start spraying because when it's dry this needs to sit on the paper perfectly flat or else as it dries the shape will deform and your flower will be a little bit warped. You can fix it when you're done but it's easier if you just bend the tail while the flower's dry and then squirt it. Also it's handy to leave the tail on so you've got something to hold and rotate the flower while you're spraying it. Now I've added the browns so far and the flowers are already looking gorgeous and steampunky. So now what I'm going to do is make sure all of the little flowers are facing up, or at least part of them is. And just kind of use the other flowers to stand them up. Now you need to be quite careful with them while they're at this stage because it's quite easy to sort of put your finger in something and warp the flower. And with these little ones I just sort of stand them between other flowers so that they stand up. Now it's not going to be the end of the world if your flowers aren't all standing up because at this point they've got a little bit of colour on them everywhere anyway and these next layers are just to give them a little bit of variation so that they don't all look exactly the same. Now they need to all be facing up so that the bit of the flower that you will see is the bit that gets this next couple of colours. So at the moment they're very coppery. My project has both copper and brass so I'm going to need to tone that colour down a little. So what I'm going to do is add a layer of the Midnight Rendezvous Raven to start with just to sort of dirty the colour up a little bit and we'll go from there. I'm spraying from a bit further away than I normally would. This will help create little spots of black. And you can see that that tones that brown down to something a little more gritty and grungy. Now you can add as much of the black or as little as you like. It's completely up to you. Now they're still quite coppery. So what I'm going to do is add something with a little bit of gold shimmer. Now the easiest way to do that is to add a glitz spritz because it's just shimmer. So you know exactly what you're getting. So this one's medieval gold good shake. Now I like to apply this in sort of spots so I get right up close. This way I'm going to get sort of bits of gold. So again I'm going in with some of the black. Now you could do this over a journal page which would make a background for your page. Often what I do is I get some scrap cardstock and blot the excess off um, just so I don't waste any. A lot of people say, gosh Kate, you waste so much colour. I, I don't really, I use it for other things, I just do it off camera. Back in with that gold colour, just to give it that last little highlight. Alright, now these are looking grungy and gorgeous, but I want them to match my project a little bit more, so it needs a tiny hint of colour. I'm going to use some of the time travel teal, and this is just going to be a tiny swipe over the top just to add another element of colour in here. So I'm spraying from a little bit further away and I don't want a lot. I'm just trying to sort of get shots of that blue showing up in the flowers and I think that's really all that it needed. Now as those dry, 
that blue will soak in. You won't really see the blue colour, but you'll just see some of that shimmer when they're done. It all just helps to add to sort of the grungy look. Now, I'm not feeling very patient, so I'm going to dry these off with my heat gun. Now, that will actually cause some of the glue to part company with uh, the rest of the paper. So I'll have to sort of repair these flowers when I'm done. So to dry the flowers, I like to use a heat gun and a glass heat proof mat. Alright, so I've dried all of these for about five minutes and they're all nice and stiff and dry now. But they're still not quite going to match my project. So what I've got is um, some Inca Gold. Now I've got this in two colours. I'm going to be using the violet and the gold. And all you do is just kind of pop in a finger. And I'm just going to apply this to the edges. Doesn't need to be everything, doesn't need to be every edge, just to give it. Now your Inca Gold should be nice and creamy. Sometimes it's been sitting in the jar a little too long, it gets a little dry. All you need to do is add a few spritzes of water, just nice clean distilled water if you can, tap water if you can't, and then put the lid back on and leave it sit there. And then what should happen is the next time you go to use it, it's absorbed some of that water and it's ready to use again. Okay, now I'm going to be using the gold and heaps. Now I'll just make sure I'm not taking over too much of that purple. Now, now, what you should be able to see here is the gorgeous shimmery sparkle. And when you tilt it, you've got the Inca gold on the edge. Aren't they yum? And this is what I've created my flowers for. I think that they really enhance the steampunk dress form. They're not too pale, so they don't take the focus away from all of the metallic elements, but they kind of fit in, so the whole thing looks organic, like it's all meant to be together. I love the way that they have finished this off. The sparkle on those flowers from the Lindy's Stamp Gang products is just perfect. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and that it gives you another idea about what you can do with your Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back with more soon. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.